Hello, this is Thomas Alts, Windland Change TV. Um, the topic of this week is effective communication, and I thought I grabbed the opportunity, just did a one-day workshop here today, um, we're carrying on tomorrow, to take the flip chart and explain a little bit about effective communication, how would it work. There's a basic model um, that I think has a lot of power in it, and I just wanted to explain it a little bit. The model is called the communication chain. Maybe you've heard of it before. Um, it has six levels, and if you want communication to be effective, it's those six levels that count. What do I mean? Think about this. Only because it has been, or you have been saying the message, only because it has been said, doesn't mean it has been heard. People could hear it. Or they understood. Or they agree. Even if they agree, did they apply it? Did they apply it once, or did they apply it continuously? So for communication to be effective, ideally, we reach level six, because then you've got a new behavior, a new standard, continuously applied. In reality, that's not that often the case. And if not, there must be reason in the five levels before that. So let's look at them very quickly. Um, have you said it properly? Did you say it clearly enough? To the point, um, straightforward. How could you have said it in a better way? Think about the communication that is stuck at the moment that you are in, and how could you improve it? How can you say it better? Let's say that level is ticked off. Yeah? Next level, could they hear it? Did they hear it? Were there some disturbing noises in the background? Were they even in a state that they could listen properly? Did they want to listen? Hmm. Let's say, yes, they heard it clearly, they wanted to listen. Did they understand? How do you know? Did you check? Did you ask them to pre repeat back to you what they have heard? So you could check the level of understanding. People assume others understand. Sometimes they don't. So make sure that others really understand, repeat back to you what they have understood. You will be surprised. Take some extra time, but that's the way it goes. Next level, let's say understood, agreed. Did they agree? Or was it just lip service? Yeah, I understand it. Yeah, 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 we will do this. Mm hmm, mm hmm, hmm. Agreement means also you need to double check. Are we in full agreement? Can you agree on those points? Um, how can I make sure that you really say everything you have to say? So we are in full agreement. I want to get to the bottom of this. Do we agree on this? If you get a thorough yes, convincing yes, you are already one, two, three, four steps down the line. Then the question is, did they apply it? If not, why not? Lack of time, lack of priorities. Sometimes people agree they don't apply. Other things, life got in the way. Thank you very much. Let's say you make sure they apply. Yeah? You can see it happening. Is it a one-off, I said this before, or is it continuously applied? Sometimes they think, oh, done it once, done it twice, back to the old habits, yeah? and you are frustrated. No. Continuously application or continuously applied, that should be the goal. For some people, that's difficult. We are creatures of habit. You ask people to change their habits. Just make sure only applied once doesn't mean tick in a box. You want continuously application. So you can see how those six levels um, work together, and if communication breaks down, it's one of those levels. This applies to a business environment, to a private environment, um, with your maybe teenage children, teenage daughter, um, maybe with your spouse. It's interesting. With your direct reports, with your boss. Think about it, check the communication chain, and go back to the point where it collapsed and make it work. I hope that was helpful. Um, I hope those tips and ideas related to our weekly topics are available to you, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Have a good night. Bye-bye.